Today we're working on a 2007 Toyota Camry with the check engine light on. This has the 2.4 liter four cylinder in it. And then I've already pulled codes. You can see the three codes here that are current is system to lean, mass airflow sensor circuit low, and intake air temperature circuit high input. Right off the bat, I'm not too concerned with the system to lean at the moment. I'm first gonna check the mass airflow and intake air temperature because those can both have an impact on the air fuel ratio. So check those out first, then hopefully that lean code will go away once the other two are rectified. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and clear codes. I took a picture of the screen so I can remember what these codes were. because I wanna make sure that the mass airflow and intake air temperature aren't just here because they were unplugged or somebody else was in here fiddling around. So I'm gonna clear codes. So no codes here. I'm gonna start it up, warm it up, and then see what comes back. Before I get too far ahead, I'm just gonna take it for a test drive, gather some data. Um, this is the short-term fuel trim, or right about 20. And then the long-term, about 29. But I wanted to show you what happens when I press on the accelerator. Let me go ahead and press on it. See, it drops back to about one and a half, two percent. So when the throttle valve is open, our fuel trims level out. And when I let off, now the throttle valve is closed, our fuel trims will rise again. And that's pretty classic for a uh, intake air leak or unmetered air getting into the engine. Another thing to note is our mass airflow. When I do give it throttle, it climbs. And so it, it's metering. Whether those are exactly correct values or not, I'll have to reference them to the manual, but it is metering. It's not a like a dead mass airflow or anything like that. When I took it for the test drive, full throttle, uh, full load, the grams went up to about 120, and that's, that's pretty good. If you come over here, the intake air, again, it's pretty steady. Um, this is, of course, influenced by the engine bay temperature. But when you drive down the road, it doesn't seem to be falling out or, or dropping off or anything like that. You give it a little throttle and then the intake air kind of cools down as you introduce the cold outside air to it. But So at the moment, I don't see an issue with it. Um, I got to thinking about it and even if the intake air temperature was dropping out periodically i don't think that would cause a lean code or a lean a consistent lean condition for a periodic dropout i'm going to tackle the lean condition and hook up a smoke machine in order to see where i can spot this vacuum leak from but before i do that i got the car running i want to just do a quick check this is easily located the um the evap purge solenoid i just want to make sure that that's not uh, leaking because that could cause a lean coat as well so it's really easy to pull this hose off i don't know if you could see the hose nipple there but the other side is connected to the intake so closed right now it should be normally closed not operating you shouldn't feel any vacuum coming out of here and i don't and then on my scan tool I can go ahead and turn it on and you can hear it. And then you can see the vacuum there. And that's intake vacuum. And then you can turn it off and then it stops. So I can rule out that I'm getting a leak from the uh, purge solenoid. This is a quick check before I hook up my um, smoke machine. So I have the smoke machine hooked up there and that's pumping in right on the other side of the throttle body there and you can see a little smoke coming out of this side. i just plugged it off with a rag uh, i wanted to see if this was leaking these plastic pieces were leaking if any of that intake boot was leaking and it doesn't look like it so i'm gonna pull this off and then continue the smoke but i'll show you in a second what i'm gonna do so now i have the throttle body gloved off this is hooked up to the same and then now the pcv is blocked off I want to go ahead and turn the air back on. Let me set you guys down. You can see the glove is pumping up, so we're getting air going into the intake. That's actually a lot of pressure, so that's good. I'd imagine that fuel trim's that high, you'd see a pretty hefty leak. But we'll let this pump up for a little while, and then 
go around with the flashlight and see if we can't spot where it's coming from. I found some smoke coming out of the let me move my flashlight again. That intake manifold. Try to get a good lighting on it. You can see some of the smoke. Looks like it's coming right out of that intake manifold. Gasket right there. Okay, so just for curiosity, I'm gonna use a little brake clean. I prefer the smoke machine. I think it's really easy to set up and it's more reliable, but this works too. So I'm gonna spray it in that area that I thought, or that I saw the smoke coming from and watch the idle change. Almost, almost dies. But what's interesting, let me see if I can put this in a spot you can see it. There we go. We got the fuel trim set up. Now it's positive 20. Now look when I spray in that suspect spot. They drop down to negative. So that's a confirmation. So I was thinking about those other codes that we had, the P0113 and the P0102 for the mass airflow and the intake air temperature sensor. Just looking up a little bit about those those codes, they're both for open circuit. And because the intake air temperature and the mass airflow sensor are one sensor or one unit, two sensors, but one unit together, I'm wondering if they were just unplugged at some point. And that's why both those codes were were in the mix. So I took it for a little test drive once everything was kind of put back together. And you could see the, let me just pull it up. After you repair stuff, this scan tool has a, the ability to type in the specific code to see if that specific code computer has run its checks. So we can do the P0113. And this is the intake air temperature. And I don't know if you can see it, but it says that the status is normal, um, the check result was okay, and this monitor was complete. The P0102, that monitor is not complete, I'd have to drive the vehicle a little more, but we're going to go ahead and get the intake manifold coming, replace that, and then run it through a good uh, drive cycle. Alright, just wanted to, to show you that and, and let you know what I was thinking about that portion of it, those two codes. So, could just be an unplugged sensor, and that, that makes sense to have both those codes being open circuit codes. Thought I'd share.